Hey everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to play the Thin Lizzy Classic Whiskey in the Jar. Their well-known take on the old 17th century traditional Irish folk song. And while we're at it, I suppose, I'll be showing you the Metallica version as well. Because basically, all you have to do to play Metallica's take on this track is to tune your guitar down a full step and switch all of the cowboy chords to chugging distorted power chords. As they stick pretty closely to Thin Lizzy's version of the track in every other regard. But you know, much heavier, of course. Uh, that said, just as an aside, I love Metallica, but far and away prefer the original Thin Lizzy version of this one, if you want my honest opinion. Uh, regardless, let's close in here a little bit and get started, yeah? Good then, Whiskey in the Jar, Eric Bell, and Thin Lizzy. Uh, we are in standard tuning for this tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you all of the guitar parts in this one. The acoustic parts, and the electric parts, and the fill lines, and the solos, and the melody lines, and all of it. And the very first thing we have to deal with is the little prelude before the song proper starts. This right here. right there. This is in A. Uh, Whiskey in the Jar does not have an A chord in it at all, but they started in A before shifting it into G. So this is in A, kind of using the A minor scale. So we're going to start on the eighth fret of the high E. You're going to pick it again, pull it off to seven, off to five, back on to seven. Now we're going to pull that seven off to five onto eight of the B string for a full step bend. We're going to kind of let that bend die. Kind of like that, right? And then we're into this. So pulling off eight to five of the B, and then seven to five of the G. And then before you pull off seven to five of the D, you're going to hit that five of the G very briefly, right? Kind of like that. And then we're into this. So we're going to pull off 7 to 5, back onto 7. 4 onto 7 of the G. Quick little trill between 5 and 8 of the B, right into a full step bend on the 7 of the G. And then we're into this little chromatic run. So we're going to slide into seven of the uh, G string. We're going to go seven, six, five, four. And then you're going to go seven, six, five of the D. And then you're going to go seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, open of the A. Right? And that's the opening little solo that uh, kind of kickstarts this uh, track. And then the acoustic guitars come in. And the melody line, famous melody line, plays over that. So we're going a G major chord here, back to an F major chord, off to an E minor chord. There's five chords in this entire track. G major, F major, E minor, C, and D. But at the beginning here, before the vocals come in, we're going to go G, F, E minor and just start strumming. Back to G. And then G to F one more time. E minor. Back to G. And at this point the vocals come in. But before we get to uh, what's going on with the acoustic guitars uh, during the first verse with the vocals, we need to go back and have a look at the melody line that is playing at the beginning of this track. That right there. And we're going to repeat that three times. So we're starting on the 7 of the uh, G string. So you're going to hit that like three times, hammer on to 9, hammer on to 11. 
and then grab the eight of the B. And then you're going to go up to the nine of the G and then back off to the seven of the B. Into this to finish up the melody line. So this part's a little bit tricky because we just finished with our index on the seven. Now you need to take your middle finger, drop it on the seven of the uh, same fret on the G string, slide into nine, and then finish the phrase on the eight of the B. Right, so you kind of have to grab the same fret with the different finger. Because that is definitely a slide. Plus I've watched him play it live and that's how he does it. So you repeat that four, or three times, sorry. And then the final time, before the vocals come in, he shifts down here with a little slide, somewhere around the 12th fret of the G, slides out to open, then he hammers, hits that open again, hammers on two to four, grabs the three of the B, back off to open, two, back off to open, slides into four, back off to open. Right, so that's the melody line that plays at the beginning of this track and throughout the track. Now, the chords during the first verse. G. As I was going over. E minor. The cork and carry mountains. Down to C. I spotted Captain Farrell. Back to G. His money he was counting. Stay in G. I first produced my pistol. Off to E minor. And then produced my rapier. Down to C. Said stand and deliver back to G. Them devil he won't take ya. Now down to D. Musha ring dumma do dumma da. Up to C. Whack for my daddy o. Whack for my daddy o. There's back to G. Whiskey in the jar o. And then we do that again right at the end of the first verse. So those are all the chords, the acoustic chords during all of the verses, right? One more time. E minor. C. G. Stay in G. E minor. Stay in C, and then we go to G. And then we're back into the melody line again, right? That again. And uh, you're gonna repeat that uh, again, three times, and, uh, and then this again, right? To finish it up. Though when we're doing this melody line the second time, there's a little bit of a, a little change. plays it the same way twice, and then he does this. So just 7-9, down to 8, a couple of little half-step bend releases of the 10 of the B, back to the natural note, and then off to 8, and then back into that again, right? So, but I'm getting ahead of myself because we need to, uh, the electric guitar parts during the verse while he's playing all these chords, right? Going over the cork and While well, that's all going on, right? The electric guitar is playing this. We're going to 
repeat that twice, right? Simple little melody line that he's playing along with the vocals. All on the B string, open B, third fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, and eighth fret. So the, uh, the melody line, quite simply, is this. Alternate every one of those notes with the open G string. Right, you repeat it twice, and then when we drop into the uh, musha ring dama do dama da section, we're going to move into D and play this. Right, so we're on the second fret of the G string, alternating between the open D, we're going to repeat, I think, five times, and then we're going to drop onto the four of the G and repeat three times. Masha ring da ma do da ma da. Right? And then for the whack for my daddy O section, we're going to drop our pinky down here on the five of the B, alternate between the open G and that note. Whack for my daddy O. And when you get to the daddy o section, you're going to take your index, drop it on the two, and slide it into three. Whack for my daddy o. And now you're just going to alternate those two notes on the fifth fret of the uh, B string and the third fret of the high E about eight times. Whack for my daddy o. Whack for my daddy o. This right. So you just keep hitting those notes throughout that whole second phrase of whack from my daddy -o. and uh, and then finishes up with this so back off to the third fret with the open G and then off to open drop on to the two open B and then a little hammer on release off to open and then just open D open G Right, so that's the whole melody line during the verse. back into the main melody line right we're gonna repeat that twice we're gonna play that little fill right and that leads into the second verse second verse same as the first and uh, coming out of the uh, the second chorus we're back into this uh, melody line one final time and that leads right into the solo. So let's dig into the solo now.
So that's pretty much the solo right there. So we're, uh, we're soloing in G, uh, G major, using the G major scale, and we're starting in this position right here on the bottom couple of strings, or top couple of strings. I've been corrected on that a number of times. I keep calling these the bottom strings when they're actually the top strings, but I've been doing it since I've been a kid. And uh, so we're starting here on the 7, 8, 10 of the B in the high E. <laughs> Right, that's the first line of the solo, starting on the 7. We're going to go 7, 8, 10. Reverse it and then do a little trill between 7 and 8. And then you move up to the uh, the B string, just kind of go, you know, 10, 8, 7, reverse, right? So it finishes with a 7, 8 of the high E, right into a full step end and choke it off. And then we're into this. So we're going to go uh, 7, 10 into 12. You're going to go back off to 10, back on to 12, into a step and a half bend. Right, back off to 12, a little pull off, 12 to 10, back on to 12. into this. So we're going to go on to the 7th uh, fret of the uh, high E on to 10. And then you're going to take that 10, slide it back to 8. And then you're going to 8, 7, 5. And then you're going to go 8, 6, 5. You're going to go back to the high E, do a quick little pull off from 8 to 7 to 5, and play those same notes on the B string. And then 7, 5, 4 of the G, and then you give that some nice wide vibrato. Right, so that's the first quarter of the solo. it. Right up until this point. At this point it changes. Instead of doing this, right, this time we're not going to do that. This time we're going to do this. So we're going to go on the, from the five, six, eight, Quick little uh, hammer on, five to six to eight, and reverse. Kind of like that, right? Then you're gonna drop your pinky on the eights of the high E and B string. Then you're gonna take that eight, slide it into 10, pedal off this uh, eight of the B. Then you're gonna slide the 10 into 12 and pedal back to that eight, right? Kind of like that. A little tricky to lick this one into this. So we're going to grab a double stop here on the fourth fret of the G, third fret of the B, and then we're going to bounce a bar off the fifth fret. Back it up to the uh, second and first fret, and then off to open strings. That part's a little bit loose, kind of hard to hear exactly what he's doing because he's uh, he's playing it very loosely and it's kind of buried in the mix, but I'm pretty sure that's pretty close. Right, so the, the, the second third, or the second quarter of the, uh, the solo from here.
this. So now we're on the threes and fives, sliding into five to start it. And then it finishes three, two, one, right? Double bend there on the five. That's that little lick right there. Just all on the threes and fives. And then we're going to play this. So we're just going right up the B string, right, right up the scale with little slides. Sliding first five, uh, sliding into five, backing it off to three, and that's kind of what the pattern we're going to do all the way up the scale. Right. Five, three, six, five, eight, six, ten, eight. Right. And then when you finish that little run, you're going to grab the tenth of the high E, give it a quick bend, and drop it off to eight of the B. Kind of like that, right? Now we're going to do these little double stops to finish up the solo. So we're going to grab a bar on the eighth fret of the B in the high E, hammer on to a ten of the B, and then off again. Kind of like that. Back it up to uh, the third fret bar. Do the same thing, hammer on to five. Right? And that's the final lick in the solo. So we're going to slide into 14, then we're going to go 13, 15 of the B. Right into a double bend, right? And then we're going to take that bend, release it, and slide it into 15, 17, sorry. And then finish the lick here on the 15s and 17s of the B and the high E. Into 17. And that's the final lick. And that's the solo. So let's run through it nice and slow and then we'll be done. And there you have it, my friends. That is how you play Whiskey in the Jar by Finn Lizzy, because that's just going to head right back into another verse, chorus, and we've already learned that. So I certainly hope you uh, found that helpful and enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be awfully kind. Hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, wherever that may find you. And uh, maybe it's in Ireland. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.